My name is Russell Myers Ross. I'm from UNS18. Also been chief over eight years and uh, part of the Saskatoon national government. But when I first started as, as chief of UNS18, uh, we didn't have much to go on, but we had just finished up a, a community energy plan. And so, you know, diving into that, you know, recognizing what energy projects people were talking about, that sort of had, gave me a little bit of insight on what we could possibly do. You know, I think looking at energy um, was one way of like trying to find a project that, you know, fit more our value system in terms of minimal impact, but also, you know, serving the economy and trying to build revenue for our communities and our nation. In this rural area, we spend more money on energy than people from Williams Lake or people from more metro cities and stuff like that. So we were trying to find a way at the time to, to sort of offset some of those costs. So whether it was looking at housing or commercial buildings, you know, later on it was more district heating systems, but at the time it was sort of electricity and we just finished work on our, our school and trying to upgrade the school so that we wouldn't be losing thousands of dollars in it. So we did some retrofits there. And then in the end, we had the, the 10 kilowatt um, solar panels set up there as well. So this was, to me, just a continuation of that. And I thought if we could get solar panels, then maybe we could build a a, a bigger one and so that was sort of the intent was just to offset costs as much as we could for our community. I look at this project as being probably our first economic development nation building project partly because we were able to involve all six of the communities and I think it's significant for me because it's the first project in the Danzan Corporation where we're actually generating revenue um, back to the nation. I think there was over 18 trainees at one point all about two people serving all six of our communities. We had our own electricians and involved in the project and and then we had our own security crew and, and then just general maintenance on the project as well. So during the construction phase we almost you know solely benefited from the project. Yeah I think right now I think you know looking at South Coutine Nation and the development that we're doing we're trying to diversify our economy but also you know, looking at energy as a real uh, possibility in the future. To see a completed project is amazing for me. My uh, name is Gabe Puketch from Unis 18, and I was a project manager on this. The build then was obviously done by our trainees here that put all the panels and all the racking together. Oh yeah, huge pride, um, very proud especially because it was a nation bill. We had a couple members from each community that came in here and um, we worked together, we can get things accomplished here. Just getting together with a group from different nations and it was really good experience to work with them and learn new things from each other. The benefits from it, I would say that it would help a lot of the community communities throughout the West Interior with the extra power it gives because there's more out West that don't get a bigger boost as much as we do further this way. It just gets weaker further the West you go. And it's going to help a lot of people, not just the First Nations, but all people. It means a lot for our community and our, our nation get more power and just for our use when they grow up. This was such an amazing project for me, um, being involved in something that I hadn't, being involved in something that's very important to the nation, being part of the economy, um, and looking at reconciliation, being recognized by, by governments, and also working with our funders that recognize us, like NRT, uh, funding delivered by Aboriginal people, um, KTEC, which is our training program in town, uh, another organization delivered by Aboriginal people, and that makes a big difference. Um, like I said, reconciliation, having our people work and being recognized that we are part of that, the economy and that we're more than willing and capable of moving forward. I take a lot of pride in this project. It's been exciting and I look forward to doing more projects like this. 
Well, KTEC is really proud of the trainees who attended every day. Um, we funded 10 of them and they had to travel from Wilms Lake or from the reserve. They learned to install and set up solar panels. They adhered to safety rules. They dug ditches. They learned to install the wires. We had a couple of ladies that were in there, so they seem to be more employable and they've moved on. And this training for me means that I have an opportunity in the trades field and it was my first job, so hopefully I have more luck. I think that it's exciting for the communities because it's been probably a lot of paperwork to have this done and set up and to have it all be here today and producing electricity for everybody to use is probably a big achievement and having to work here is exciting for myself because I was a part of it and I get to share that excitement through my kids. This training would benefit me in the fact that uh, I know that more of this will be coming into fruition for other bands and stuff like that. We're setting a curve to the governments and all that, uh, letting them know that there's other ways to generate energy. We can go a different way through sun, solar, wind, uh, river aspects, all that stuff, uh, geothermal, micro dams, stuff like that. There's better ways to get energy than the way it's being done right now. I just know that uh, we're doing something for the greater good for Earth. The fact that we can do this and we show that it can be done is a very good feeling uh, for all other communities, all other indigenous communities and so on and so forth. So it makes me real happy to see these kind of projects happening for our people and for other peoples all around BC and Canada.